In this video, I'm going to show you how to put the right page number on every page that should have one. In talking about page numbering, I'm assuming two things. One, that your entire thesis or dissertation is in a single file and not seven or eight different ones. And two, that you are following instructions given in the Guide for Writers of Theses and Dissertations available at the BU Libraries website. I'll be working in Microsoft Word 2011 for Mac. Other versions of Word, particularly Word 2010 for PC with the ribbon menu, have the features you need in different places. I'll try to mention them, but if I don't, poke around in the Home, Insert, Page Layout, and References menus. Everything you need should be in those four menus. In terms of page numbering, your work will have three parts. The first few pages are counted but not numbered. The rest of the front matter, starting with the optional dedication page, is numbered in lowercase Roman numerals appearing on the bottom center of the page. The main text is numbered in Arabic numerals, starting with one and appearing either at top center or top right of the page. For our purposes, let's just say top right. It's the most common. How do you do this? You use section breaks. Let's see how this is done. First, if your work is in many different parts, prepare the document you'll be working on. Copy and paste all of your work into a single new file. I've got my sample file right here. And now click this symbol right here to show non-printing characters. This will allow you to see exactly where your section breaks are. So section one, I've got my title page and a page break, then the copyright page and another page break, and then the signature page and another page break. And then the dedication page. Okay, this is the first page where the page numbers have to be displayed. That means it's the first page of a new section, section two. To create it, I go back to the page break before the dedication page and replace it with a section break. Delete the page break, insert break, section break, next page. By the way, if you don't have a dedication page, then your acknowledgments will be page four. And if you don't have those, then your abstract is page four. The same principle applies. Okay, now I have to insert Roman numerals counting from the beginning of the document on the bottom center in the footer. To get here, I double click on where the footer should be. By default, Word believes that the footer of any given section should follow the same rules as the footer of the previous section, and the same with the header. But in this case, we don't want that. We want no page numbers in section one and Roman page numbers in section two. See how it says same as previous down here? We need to get rid of that. I click on the header and footer, and I uncheck link to previous. Great. You have to do this separately for both the header and the footer. So I'm going to go up to the header and do the same thing, unlink from previous. Now, normally we would insert some page numbers here, but let's get the other section break we need in place first. Double click in the main text to get out of the footer. Scrolling down, I have my abstract, then my table of contents placeholder. There's another video on how to create a table of contents. And here's my main text. So here the rules change again. Arabic numerals, top right instead of bottom center. What do we do first? Create a new section. I go up again and do the same thing I did before. I replace the page break with the section break next page. So if this had been a page break, I would have deleted it and then said insert break section break next page. Now go into the header of section three, unlink from previous, and the same with the footer. Oops. You have to click in the footer in order to see the options in it. Okay, still in the header and footer, let's go up to section two. Here, as you will remember, we need lowercase Roman numerals on the bottom center of the page. So I click inside any footer in section two, then I click insert page numbers. Now on the PC with the ribbon menu to get to this little window, 
I would go to the insert menu and click on page numbers and then click on format page numbers. I want my page numbers to be in the footer, in the center. I do want the number on the first page, so I leave this box checked. The format, I want lowercase Roman, and I want to continue numbering from previous section. Because as the guide say, it says, those pages in the previous section are counted, they're just not printed. Okay, okay, here we go. Lowercase Roman numerals at bottom center. And if we scroll up, we see that this propagated throughout the entire section two. Let's just go up real quick to section one to make sure that there's nothing here. Great. Now let's go into the header of section three. So I want to insert page numbers again, but this, this time I want them to be on the right. I do want the number on the first page and I want the numbering to be uh, Arabic and start at one. Okay, okay, done. And that's it. If you need any more help with this, please get in touch.